I do have you over there, right? Okay, good. Yes. I was like, do I need to add her to the right? No, she's already there. <laughs> so tonight it's me and Steph and um, I, I, I'm going to address the elephant in my room and that is I'm wearing a watch. Y'all, I am not a watch person. I, I don't like wearing watches. I don't because... My thing is that when I get like warm, I am like instantly hot. I sweat for like 10 people. I, and, and so all I can feel is that I've got like sweat just underneath here. And then I feel like I have like this restriction, like, on, but <laughs> since Stephanie and I are doing these retreats, the one thing I did notice is that while we were on the retreat a couple weeks ago, or maybe that was three weeks now, oh my goodness, um, we kept looking at each other, going, "What time is it? Are, are we at this this time, this time to do this?" Are we, you know, and I also, you know, like if I'm, you know, we we were like having fun, teaching, you know, show showing our stuff, you know, whatever it is that we were doing. I'm just not one of those girls that's constantly holding my phone. I'm just not. Um, yeah, I might either. have it in my back pocket, you know, um, but I'm not sitting there and just like constantly looking at the phone. So I said to Steph, I'm like, okay, I am going to try to get used to wearing a watch. And she's having to do the same thing because she doesn't like wearing a watch either. And yeah, see, there we go. We're putting them on. We're, we're, we're going to get used to this. But then what happened was I, inevitably before a live, I am always, it doesn't even matter how much time I've had during the day or how much time I've been at home. It really, it doesn't matter. Inevitably, I am running around like a chicken without a head for like <laughs> the hour before because yeah. I, I don't know what it is in my head. I don't register how much time I have left just looking at a number on the clock. I just don't until I sit there and I go, oh, hold up. <laughs> that means I only have an hour. <laughs> <I'm> like, <"Yeah." laughs> and I do the same thing like every week. This week again, it was like, oh, I gotta take all, I gotta take the trash out, right? Y'all, yeah. I have to take the trash out every Wednesday before the live. It's not like this is something new. It's not like I don't know it's coming. And of course, this week was also recycling week. So I had to haul like a million boxes out, plus all the trash. And you then I don't have recycling to... every week? No, we do it. They do it every other week here. Oh, that's yep. interesting. So, um, so then that's how I, in fact, that's how I know that it's recycling week. Like if I forget. Cause like when you and I were on the retreat and then I ended up staying at your house for a little bit, then Jim had to do the recite, do the trash that week. Mm -hmm. And so that totally messed me up because I was like, is it recycle week? Is it not recycle week? When it <laughs> all I have to do is I go look in our big blue trash can 
And if it's full, it's recycling week. It's recycling week. <laughs> because <laughs> we drink way too much soda in my house so we'll always know when it's been two weeks because that thing is full and pretty much all of like two liter bottles i i don't, don't judge people don't judge we all have our vices at least we're not you know yeah. alcoholics or something i mean i'm not trying to rag on alcoholics but you know we all have a vice so nobody's judging nobody's judging i know <laughs> well you're I'll not <laughs> <laughs> well, so our trash come... and our recycle is full every week, and they come every oh. week. Just because... Well, yeah, but I mean, you guys are six people. Yeah. We're two. <laughs> We're family this big. Yeah, you you kind of have a reason. <laughs> We'd be in trouble if we could have put it out every week. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, I know. So, um, yeah. So then I had to do the dishes, and then you know get everything ready, and so I was just like, I am sweating. Like, and, and I've got this big giant fan over here, thankfully, this nice, tall Honeywell fan. And, um, so I've got it pointed right on me right now so that I can stop being annoyed with the watch because I, too bad the fans aren't on the other side. If I could have like gotten the, the cord to go all the way around the other way, I would have been a real happy camper right now. Okay. So I'm going to go over to... My Facebook, uh, my Facebook, my YouTube page so that I can <laughs> check out everybody who's here. Lots of people here. Pop out my chat and say hey. Uh, let's see. Okay. I'm going to try to scroll to the top. Oh, there's a lot of y'all. Thank you so much for coming. I love you guys. Um, we got Colleen is here. She's saying hello to the whole world. I love that. Hey. Diana is here, Nancy, Donna Bogart, uh, Kathy Cantu, Karen Mewis, Linda Foos, uh, Doreen is here. Hi, Doreen. Hey. Um, Shelly Stewart is here. We've hey, got Shelley. Bettina, Ingrid, Netta. I want to thank you guys. Uh, I already think I, I think I have two people that I noticed so far. If there are more and I've missed it, I apologize. But I saw that Shannon and Ingrid have already bought Piecing It Real uh, swag. So thank you. That's yes. very nice. Yeah, I and they are both them. coming to our Pennsylvania retreat. So oh, excellent, excellent. Um, that's great. I'm so happy. Netta is here. Hey, Netta. Hey. Del Marie is here. Hey, Del Marie. Uh, let's see. Diane Walters here. Hey, Diane. She's from Australia. Linda Parsons is here. Linda, I got your message about um, hooking you back up with the emails. I'm going to have to do that tonight after dinner. So it'll happen at some point. And then what'll happen is you're going to get uh, an email that you have to check and say, yes, I really do want to get these emails. Okay. So that <laughs> protects me. I can't just send emails to people if they don't want them. Um, it's yeah. kind of against the law <laughs> <laughs> because God forbid anybody get an email they don't want. And I understand, believe me, I, I really do. But some people get a little, a little crazed about it. So yeah. please just click on that and then you'll be just fine. Um, okay. Where was I at? Miss Jackie Spear is here. Pamela is here. Hi, Pamela. Um, Angela Stutinger is here. And we have Karen Cox, Nancy Gus, Ohio. <laughs> Ohio. Yeah, is. Denise is here. Um, Tracy Albert is here. Heather Grintz is here. Hey there. And. Yep, Shannon is here too. Excellent. Miss Celie is here. That's Scrunchins. Uh, Dee is here. Christy Hare is here. Hi, Christy. Hello. Um, <laughs> Colleen says, my condolences about the watch. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to get myself used to wearing it. I, I just, I have to. I have to. I have to just... Stop being a big baby and just wear the stupid watch. Okay. <laughs> uh, Heather says that she misses her watch. If her mignonette wouldn't pull on the band and break it all the time, she'd still have uh, one. Well, you know what? This one is like, it it stretches, which is good. Um, it, and it doesn't over, I don't know, I can't explain it, but I'm, I'm hoping that that will help me. Um, because I don't like the ones that are like, you know, 
have the hook like or the the ba you know like you're putting on a belt you know what i mean yeah, yeah. Um, i don't like those kind I, I just i had one before like a long time ago that was sort of like a bracelet watch and actually that one wasn't too bad um that one wasn't too bad because it would like at least you know like move around and it wasn't like making yeah. sweaty and stuff so yeah we'll see we'll see how this one goes uh nancy guess is also here lavina is here gidget nita is here uh miss gia is here hi gia Yay. and let's see nelly is here pieces love and quilton is here hey there do you remember who what her name is because oh my goodness i'm gonna do you i knew you were gonna ask me that i know because you know how i mean i'm terrible and i don't i know that you're not that much better than i am but usually you are it'll okay. come to me though it'll come to me i just, know i'm just i'm so bad with names and um i swear pieces i will eventually remember i will like if i keep I seeing you and what, where's my little notepad i had a I want to say it's least or is it no it's not lisa that's somebody else um I wish I were better at this. If I could like take a pill, I would totally take that pill. Courtney. Is it Courtney? Yeah. Okay. Courtney. Hi, Courtney. I, I promise I'm gonna try so hard. Please forgive me. I don't mean to do it. Um, <laughs> hi, Susan. Susan is here. Polly hey. is here. Um, okay. Sarah is here. Sarah Wertheimer. She spells her name hey just there. like the little girl. Oh, Alex like Johnson is here. Was that? Like my Sarah? <laughs> like your Sarah. Yep. Um, I'm almost to the bottom. I know it. Della is here. She says, hello, hey, Stephanie Ella. Stitches. Hey. MJ is here. Hi, MJ. I feel like it's been a little bit since we've seen MJ. Um, oh, she says today is her 48th wedding anniversary. Girl, oh, congratulations. you need more than a bottle of champagne. You need. <laughs> that's amazing. Congratulations. That's amazing. That is amazing. And that's, it's hard work. So yeah. congrats. Okay. Um, oh, she says, Courtney, Courtney, I may ask you again, sweetheart. I, I, and if I do, <laughs> it is not. It is not anything personal, I promise. Craft a simple life. Okay, what's Craft a Simple Life's name? Because I can't remember either. I know that you guys do it for a reason, but oh my goodness, it's so hard for me. <laughs> Gidget is here. Deb Z is here. Deb Z Do. Deb Z Do is here. <laughs> That's a cool name. Um, oh, Pieces Love and Quilting says we can call her CJ or Courtney. Courtney oh, okay. or CJ. And if I had my notebook right here, I would totes write that down. But of course I didn't bring it because I still haven't gotten used to do that either, Steph. Um, <laughs> Marie is here. And Tanya K is here. Oh, Pieces Love and Quilting. Courtney, CJ, she says I'm fine. You're so sweet. Thank you so much. I Giving me some grace. I love it. <laughs> Lori LaSalle is here. Lori is in Honolulu, Hawaii. Ooh. She's visiting her daughter for 10 days. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's so awesome. Oh my okay. goodness. Totally would do that. Oh, so Colleen says that Craft a Simple Life is Tracy. 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 I'm going to try, Tracy. I'm going to try, girl. <laughs> uh, Patty says hi. I think Patty's coming to a retreat too, isn't she? I hope I'm yes. right because otherwise I feel really stupid. <laughs> um, let's see. MJ says, thanks everyone. A friend of mine used to say the secret to a long marriage is that you don't both want a divorce at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That is so true. Oh my goodness. Oh, now I don't know where my assistant is. He's sleeping over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh how funny oh gosh um marie hahn is here did i say hi to marie yet i don't know i might have skipped you marie so i'm just saying hey oh laura veach is here are the retreats filling up yes they are actually i mean considering you know it's yeah. not like it's you know somebody's making a decision to buy a t-shirt 
So the fact that, you know, we're getting as many people as we are, like, quickly, um, it, it feels good. And yeah. we do still have spaces left, for sure. Um, if you guys have any interest whatsoever to seeing Washington, um, I think it's a great place to go because we're going to be, like, in the sound. We're north of Seattle. Um Mm -hmm. So going up closer to Canada, so you Canadian ladies, if you want to come, and gentlemen, well, well, maybe we should say ladies right now. Stephanie and I are going to start thinking about the fact that we may have some gentlemen who may want to come, and yeah. so we can't, but we can't book every single house for everybody to be sharing rooms because that would be a little awkward, I think. Yeah, um, the one in Washington is probably not conducive to gentlemen, unfortunately. Yes, I would say that it's ladies. If you want to come, come on over. Yeah. <laughs> But in the future, um, we're definitely looking at spots where. Yeah, know. yeah. So we're we're keeping an uh, open mind, our, our our minds open to a whole bunch of learning experiences because you know it's our first time going, of course, and um. So every little thing we're like picking up, you know, like trying to find places that are more ADA compliant, at least with one room and a bathroom or something like that. So we're, we're yeah. learning, we're learning. And um, it's going to be a whole load of fun because I just started looking at like the stuff that you can do around Kamano Island and mm. oh my goodness. Okay. It's amazing. <laughs> I know there's like, there's an art scene guys there. Um, and this is going to be like a whip, um, retreat so our ufo retreat however you like to call yours and so there is going to be time if you want to go out and do something else we could always do stuff like that there's art there's lots of hiking there's um like state parking yes i was i want a zip line so <laughs> f and i are all like we're gonna go zip lining i don't know if anybody wants to come with us but we're like so <laughs> excited about the zip lining. Like, I think I was reading up on it, and I think it's got like you get in there, and there's like three, I'm sorry, I back up, six zip lines. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's like you go, you take one, and you're not done. You could do another zip line. And then there, you know, and it's, it's all like to get back to the, to the place you started. And I'm just like, okay, so, you know, it's not like you get on and you get one zip line and you're done. No, yeah. you get like six. <laughs> so, it looks really cool. so I'm all excited. I definitely want to do that. Um, yeah, so it's it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have a lot of fun, guys. And then I was looking at the food. OMG. <laughs> there is, I know, there's this cafe there. Um, and I put it, I, I think I ran a little something to like a little blurb to show everybody about it. And yeah. that cafe not only is does the food all look really good, but it's like I, I'm figuring, okay, there's probably not a Starbucks out there. So that's gonna be my fix for like espresso drinks. And it's only like <laughs> five miles away from where we are. So it's not that far. And wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We're going what? to Seattle, the home of Starbucks. There's I know, Jackie but you really Starbucks think there's gonna be one up there? Maybe not on the island, but maybe just off the island, which is only like a 15 minute ride. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I'm this thinking could be, there's got to be. We're that I'm close to saying. Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. Um, but I do know that w the first thing that came up on their page was like this giant homemade cinnamon roll. Girl. Ooh. I was like, I'm going there. <laughs> <laughs> And apparently they have you cinnamon rolls. <laughs> I know they've got cinnamon rolls and they've got scones. I love Ooh, scones. I like scones. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, anyways, that looked good. And then there was a pub there. Uh, now I and I know Stephanie as well. I'm not a beer drinker, but if you are, they had a whole bunch of stuff on tap. And um, I mean, their you know their burgers looked good, which that's you know there you go. Just go for the burgers. Mm -hmm. And there were some other places too. So, I mean, there's, there's good food, there's hiking, there's, and even if you do, you don't even have to hike if you go to the state park, just to be able to go and it looks so green out there, you know? And of course it's always, you know, like misting or something. So yeah, anyways, very, I'm excited. I'm excited. I can't wait to go. Um, yeah. Okay. So Tanya says, I have a question about the retreats or even about flying with your machines. How? I have a baby lock crescendo. That sucker is big. I'd love to go, but that makes me nervous. Okay, Tanya, I'm going to be honest with you. 
I have a baby lot crescendo as well. And there's no way I would check my baby. So I, but it's different for me because I'm going to have to be traveling a lot. So I went and I bought a baby lock uh, verve and that one will fit in like a medium sized and you can carry it on. So if you get, if you can invest in like a smaller machine or if you have a smaller machine, um, then you can definitely carry it on. You don't have to worry about it too much. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you brought your crescendo, you'd have to check it. And who would want to do that? I, I mean, I, I'm getting like heart palpitations just <laughs> thinking about you bringing, like you checking yours. But didn't, um, did Susan check hers? No, she took it on the airplane with her. Um, okay. I, I wasn't really sure. It wasn't that big like the crescendo. Okay. So, and the other option is too, is the place we're going does have a few machines for rental. So if you- That's okay true. There are two. three. There yep. are three that are available and no one's asked for them yet. So- No one's claimed them yet. So yeah. Um, so if you want to do that, it's a Janome. They're, they're Janome machines. Um, I'm sure they're not going to be like high end or anything because that's not what people- rent they just don't put those out for rent um but it's only 25 dollars for the whole weekend so you can do that and then you don't have to worry you'll have one waiting for you but you guys need to let us know if you want one because there are only three yep. um laurie lasalle says event you had me at cinnamon roll come on down girl <laughs> 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 like, like <laughs> Uh, Angela, I can bet ten dollars to a nickel that uh, Stephanie is crocheting right now. That's why she's not looking at any of us. That girl <laughs> has been on a crocheting. She is a crocheting fool right now. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think she you're cro you're crocheting right? I mean, I'm right. <laughs> yeah. <I know. laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, okay, so let's see. Yeah, that's what she's working on. Yeah. <laughs> she's not working. She's not spending time with Jack. She's just, she got the, the crocheting bug and we can't get her to stop. I We just I can't. Know. We tried hiding the, the um, crochet needle from her, everything. Nope. Didn't matter. She found it. Doesn't matter. I found nope. a new one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so Susan is saying that she didn't take her juki. Um, she bought a brother for $160 that is light and it traveled really well. That's what she did. And she took it on, um, you know, she had it as a carry on. So you could do that if, you know, if you can afford to do something like that. And also, you know, if you're going to be planning, especially since, I mean, you guys, no masks on planes anymore. I'm not saying that I won't wear a mask, but I think it's very good to have that option. Um, and so I think, you know, we're opening up now. We're going to start traveling. We're going to, we're going to start getting back to regular life, I hope. So if you're planning on doing any more of that, then having a smaller machine will be good to just take around. So if you're going to classes or anything like that, it'd be so much easier. I mean, I know I wish I could like attach my crescendo to my hip, but, but it <laughs> is a lot about easier. my big machine too. But yeah. Yeah. Not but it, it's just simpler, you know? Yeah. Um, so Deb Z do wants to know how to sign up. If you go to, um, the name of the, our company is together. We sew. So if you go to, um, together, we sew quilting retreats.com and then you'll be able to see the upcoming retreats that we have. You'll see the, the click, you click up on the top, right. Um, and I will put that, I'm typing it in right now. So you can just click on it uh, and be sure you come back because I'm still sewing tonight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that's the that's the link right there. Oh, Mimi is here. Hi, Mimi. Hi. Crystal Hoth Hinthorn is here. Oh, Sorry, hey the there. print is so small. I'm trying to read everything. No, that's okay. <laughs> Tamla, Hannah, Tamla Hannah came in before, so I wanted to say hey to her. She's like a city over from me. So hey, awesome. Girl. Hi, Tamla. And PT Lanes is here. Hey there. I saw her come in. Marilyn Berg came in. Oh, hi there. And let's see. Okay, so Patty says she plans on bringing an extra machine since she's driving, just in case. That's so sweet of you. That's cool. That's very sweet. Very, very nice, yeah. Um, 
Okay, cool. So I am still um, working on the coral reef. <laughs> <laughs> And let me get back over here. I can scooch that camera over so that Stephanie doesn't have to look at us. <laughs> okay, here we are. So, try not to look at the extra roll I got going over here. <laughs> oh, you're fine, girl. I know. You know, we all got to laugh at ourselves. It's fine. I am really not worried, guys. Please don't even worry. Okay, so Actually, this is the, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking you're looking pretty beautiful in that color oh, that you're witnessing today. I love you, girl. <laughs> that, you look, that color looks really good on you. Why I keep her around. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to be working on these guys today. I'm going to just start. And I'm going to be doing like, you know, chain sewing. So I'll do, you know, one color at a time. And this is this one in particular, I had them, I had the fabric all cut and I've got it in my little bag. So here's my bag. Have not even pulled anything out. I'll be quite honest with y'all. Cause like I said, I was running around like a chicken without a head. <laughs> but let me pull this so, out. So um, Laura wants to know, does Georgia have rentals? They do. I don't remember. You talk to her, how much they cost. Um. I am I am like ninety nine point nine nine percent sure that it is twenty five dollars to rent, and they have. I think they also have three, and they are okay. Janomi's. I don't okay. know what kind of Janome. I just know it's Janome's. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so. My number one piece and now if you're looking at one of her patterns um, she's got you know enough numbers on here to, to freak everybody out because she's very <laughs> meticulous and it's it's all very like she's got like all the information's there but if you don't know what you're looking at it can scare the poop out of anybody Okay, so <laughs> what I do when I first sit down with a piece is I look for line one because she doesn't number things the same way exactly. Because, like, a lot of the patterns that I, um, well, I know the ones I design and a lot of the ones that I use will have, like, like this whole piece would be A and it would be A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, and that's how you know which one comes first. Well, with hers, I find it easiest to look for line one because that means that's the first line you're going to be sewing on. Mm -hmm. So um, you kind of have, and then you look at the fact that she's got um, section one and then it says E3-1. Now this is unit E3 and that's why it says E3-1. So where number one is, you know, that's going to be your piece number one. And the other side of line one is going to be your piece number two. So in order to find this piece, you're going to look for the things that you have cut out that say section one, E3-1. So I'm just going to go through this little pile. I'm sure it's going to be one of the black ones because that's the section. Angela wanted to know if you started your new job yet. No, I start on Monday. Okay, uh, so Denise said she's hoping to go to the Georgia retreat. That would be awesome. Hey, that would be awesome. Okay, so this is section one, E3 1. So these pieces are going to go here in this first section where that number is. So then I want to look for section two, E3 2. That's going to be one of the colors. Let me move all the black, seeing the black pieces together because I know those will be in every other spot. And that one. Okay. So now I'm sure I'm looking for like pink. Yep. So there it is. Because I'm since I did the rainbow, I know I'm going to be looking for like, you know, pink, orange, yellow, that kind of thing. So here's the um, section two, E2 dash, sorry, E3 dash two. 
<laughs> All right, so here we go. We're going to start sewing. And did I plug this in? I did not. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to iron anything when I plug it. <laughs> the fan is. That's hot. right. Denise did tell me that. She said Dalanega is about an hour away from where her son is moving. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I forgot. She I remember that. that now. Hey. So you could visit with them and then come visit us. <laughs> that's right. Be awesome. Oh, hi, quilting in Romania. How you doing? Hi, Elena. Okay. I've lowered my stitch length. I've got my. Hi, Tamala71. Hi, Tamla. All right, so I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to take my next piece. Tracy said, got to go, ladies. Be back to finish watching later. All right, we'll okay, see you later, bye, Tracy. Tracy. Thanks for coming. Oh, Denise from Oregon is here. Hi, Denise. Hi, Denise. Just like this. Mm -hmm. Anyone going to a Georgia retreat flying? I'm trying to avoid to have to rent a car for five days. I would be open to sharing a car rental with somebody. That's Laura asking that. I think most people are driving, Laura. But you never know. I'll let you know if anybody else comes up that's flying. Netta said she's taking the train. Denise said, I just have to arrange my work situation to accommodate the Georgia plan. Awesome. <laughs> Yay. Oh, we're going to have such a fun group there because Nita's going to be there, Netta, Laura, if Denise can come. Oh, it's going to be a great time. Yep. I agree. All right, let's see. Elena said, I'm doing good. Marathon made a quilt this weekend and dropped it off at the Long Armor. My pattern will be published. Oh, awesome. In a magazine this year. So I had to make it. It's the second pattern I ever made. Oh, congratulations. That's so wonderful. Congrats. That's awesome. Somehow I think I did. <laughs> Tracy said, false alarm. I'm back. My favorite author is not live tonight. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> hmm. I may not be doing anything. I think I did this wrong. Uh oh. Tamala said, I just spent four days exploring Georgia on my way back from Florida. It's a beautiful state. Great food. Oh, awesome. Oh, Donna Strentz is here. Hey, Donna. No, this is right. Why is it not right? Okay, this looks like this. Huh? Yep. Mm -hmm. Gotta hold it pretty side to me. Laura said, I'm in Louisville, Kentucky. I was going to drive, but my husband was worried about it, so I booked a flight. Probably a good idea. Let's see, it's going to go here. So that's not right. Unless I'm supposed to do it like this. I don't know. Maybe. So then, I'll put it right there. That's what I'm supposed to do. Do I have to? Oh, see, that would have told me if I would have just looked. Okay. 
<laughs> Don't mind me, guys. It's like it's my first day. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Mother said, Laura, where are you flying into? I'm going to assume she's probably flying into Atlanta. So it's the closest airport. Pamela said, I would love to go, but we just finalized our kitchen cabinets tonight and we need to tear up the floors and retile. We'll be broke for years. Aw. <laughs> I know that feeling. Okay. Amy so said, I wish I was going to the next re retreat. I'm so jelly. <laughs> well, I'm we wish you were guys. coming to me. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. 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 <laughs> go ahead. Talk. <laughs> No, I'm just saying, I'm thinking about all these people who say that they hate tiny piecing. Well, try imagine working with this giant thing and it's flapping all over the place. And you're <laughs> I like <Yeah>. tiny piecing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's one reason why I like tiny piecing. Yeah. <sighs> Sometimes the small piecing is actually easier. Oh, it definitely is. And, the, and actually this one is just because it's the first piece and i'm like one of those people who's like allergic to glue so i don't <laughs> typically like to do that um yeah what i do with my other so i'm gonna try just using my uh wonder clips to hold it for a second because it's such a big piece is flapping all over the place yeah, yeah and when you cut it like this for her stuff where she just has you like stack and whack everything it, I don't usually um, put like best press on it first. So the fabric is definitely flapping all over because it's art gallery. Yeah. I think it's easier to line up the smaller pieces, especially when you flip them to make sure oh, they're covering absolutely. everything. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I love tiny piecing. I really do. Plus the blocks, they're so cute when they come out. <laughs> oh, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let me try. Put Mary, Jane, Mary Jane Ellinger said she likes tiny piecing too. Yeah. Yes. Mary Jane, I did see your email about asking me if I was going to um, make a kit. And I'll be honest. Okay, this piece is driving me up. This is why I don't like to cut pieces like this. This is why when I'm MVPing, I just like cut chunks of fabric and then start using it because, and listen, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with Judy's technique. Obviously this woman is like a genius, <laughs> Yeah. but it's like, now I've got to worry about this little baby piece getting to exactly where I want it to be. And I, and I've got mm. this giant piece of paper and I'm trying, you know what I mean? Like, so yeah. yeah. That's where I'm at. And of course, my art gallery's flapping everywhere. Hold on. I'm going to have to like put that down right there too. Because <laughs> it's making me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Denise said, big butts and tiny piecing. <laughs> yeah, right. That's me. You got me nailed. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Judy L said, can you explain the difference between cotton and broadcloth? Why do I keep looking at this and it's not right? Um, I would have to, to Google that, to be honest with you. Do you know the difference between broadcloth and cotton? Uh, I know it feels really different, but. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, off the top of my head, I don't know. Broadcloth is not something that I usually use, so I'm not real familiar, to be honest. Okay, what is the piece I'm, I'm supposed to be sewing with this piece? Yes, okay. Yes. That's why I keep messing this up. Okay. I'm trying to, like, think and talk at the same time. And I've got this. Okay. I know broadcloth can contain other things other than just cotton, like polyester or rayon or oh, really? things like that. It's usually thicker, you know, than, like, 100% cotton. So. Oh. But other than that, I don't really know. So I know they use it like in for clothes sometimes and yeah, not, a, it's not a quilting cloth. I mean, you could use it, I guess, but. Well, I mean, I'm sure you could use anything for quilting. Really. Yeah. I mean, if you wanted yeah. to. All right. I'm just going to. Oh, 
act like I am very confident of where this is going to land and I'm going to start sewing because it's driving me nuts. Yeah. Uh, quilting in room, or I'm sorry, Nita said, speaking of cabinets, we have an air conditioner and an air handler installed. Yay! Wow, that's amazing. That's some progress. <laughs> right? Listen, for so long they've been doing nothing. That's great. <laughs> okay, why won't my presser? Oh, Lori Miller said, hi, this is Lori Miller. Uh, <laughs> she changed her screen name to Sherlock Sews because there's too many Lori Millers in the quilting world. Oh, okay. What did she call herself? So Sherlock, Sherlock Sews? Is Sews? Yeah. Sherlock Sews is Lori Miller. Allison Johnson said, and it has fine ribs. It's woven broadcloth. Okay. I know I've picked it up at like Joann's before and it's heavier. It's definitely heavier than quilting cotton. Oh goodness. I think I have to oh, do okay. another six times. Oh goodness. The first piece is That's the worst okay. when it's this big, when it's giant pieces, drives me nuts. I'm listening. Go no. ahead. No, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> My quilt project said uh, the definition of broadcloth is a cotton poly blend in the United States. Okay. Oh. Uh, Elena yeah, said, I like that you have these lives after work. You're capturing a whole additional audience with this. Not everyone is available on Tuesdays at 10 a.m. That's true. Yeah, that is true, including myself pretty soon. So, <laughs> yep. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Oh, uh, Mimi618 said, hello, everyone. Hey there. She said, what are you crocheting? She's asking me. Uh, I okay. am <laughs> making a, attempting to make a Afghan. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Are you in hey, Susan's Mary. Facebook group? In my what? In Susan's Facebook group? Uh, she tried to invite me, but for some reason I didn't get the invite. And you can't just find it. Like, you have to be invited. Oh. Well, I was Whoa. invited. Like, for reals. Well, geez. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Susan, you need to invite me again because I couldn't see the invite. That's so funny. I'm sorry. I was just teasing. I've had you a invited day. invited and not me. Oh, I've we're not had friends a anymore. day. <laughs> we're not friends anymore. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, God. No, she did at the, I think we were still at the retreat when she tried to invite me, but I didn't get it for some reason. I didn't get the invite. Huh. I'm sure it was a fluke. She'll go. Oh, I'm sure. She'll send yeah. you another one. Although I don't, I really don't know if technically I've been accepted yet, so maybe I'm not even in. <laughs> Because you had to answer questions, and I oh, got a little okay. cheeky with them, so I don't know. She might have repaid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but she, I'm sure she would have seen Yvette's name and been like, "Yeah, I know. That's just Yvette." <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, everything's fallen. Ah. Okay, let's try this one. First one looked like it was all right, so we'll see if this works out. MJ said, "Yvette, is your new job with the same company you've been working for, or a different one?" Oh no, honey. It is not definitely with the same company. <laughs> definitely a different it's one. a new company. <laughs> uh Judy L said, Thanks for the help. Almost got broadcloth by mistake. It was next to the cotton in the store. Yeah. Ah. Uh, I know that's what like and I I don't wanna like stereotype, but um like here in Ohio. Amish folk use um, broadcloth to make their dresses, ladies. So. Ah, well, that does help to know. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like if you've seen them and know the kinds of clothing they wear, that does help a little bit where you get like a picture. A picture in your head. Of it. Yeah, a picture of what your what it is. Ah! <laughs> My face. 
fan is like blowing everything around. Okay, I'm gonna have to. It's like I'm trying to turn it towards me, but then when I turn it towards me, it throws all of the. It blows it everything. Out. <laughs> okay, I'm missing. Yeah. <laughs> that was nice. Okay. All right. Piece number three. Here we go. <laughs> I have to say, after the first one, it does get a little easier. Yeah. Especially once I started putting the um, the Wonder Clips on them. That helps. Nancy LaVentures here. She said, just popping in. Sounds like a lot of you are planning to go to the retreat in Georgia. Lucky. Hi, Nancy. How is Sadie? Yeah. I can't wait to see her puppy on the ne next Piecing It Real. I hope she brings her. I'm oh, sure my will. goodness. She is so adorable. I know. But she's a puppy. I mean, you know, she has to be adorable. That's her job. <laughs> it's like the only job she's got. Yeah. <laughs> Colleen said, I put someone in timeout by mistake once. Probably why not everyone gives me a wrench. <laughs> <laughs> that happens. You do it by mistake sometimes. They'll come out. Yeah. And most people, if you just say, oh, my gosh, I'm so sorry. I just did that. They'll be fine. Because I think I've probably even put people in time out and I didn't mean to. It happens. Yeah. Especially like when the chat like keeps moving, you know, and then you accidentally hit somebody else while it's moving. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yep. And left the one you didn't want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. People are saying bless you from your sneeze. Oh, thank you. Pamela I'll said, all the OMG. I can get. <laughs> Pamela said, OMG, my stepfather called today and read to me an obituary out of his paper. And she had the same name as me, but was six years older. How crazy, right? Oh, oh my, goodness. my goodness. That would be okay, weird. Okay, that's freaky. I can't believe he did yeah. that. That would that would freak anybody out. Yeah, it's really weird. Um <laughs> uh, all right, this one's ready. Tracy said, I sew with just about anything. I made an embroidered denim quilt for my daughter. Oh, how awesome. Oh, that's cool. One of the quilts at the one of the quilt shows that I went to over the week or last week um had a denim quilt. It was very interesting. They made it look like a a tiger. Oh wow. The way they pieced it together. Pretty yeah. Hey there, memoirs of a long arm quilters here. Hey. Hello. I feel like I'm talking to myself when I talk to her because her name's Stephanie too. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Steph, it's Steph. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm always saying that it it always freaks me out. Like, it doesn't even matter what the situation is. I am always freaked out when there is someone with my name. Because that just never happened. Like, I was going to say, there's not that many, though. Yeah. Because, yeah, like, it's never happened. And so, like, I remember the first time that it happened. I want to say, y'all, it's only been maybe, like, three times in my life that it's happened at all. Um, yeah. But it was, like, I remember the very first time I was... I, I don't know. I just had this, like, I must have had this shocked look on my face or something. <laughs> like, you mean there's another Yvette? <laughs> <laughs> no, there can only be one, the Yvette. <laughs> I know, there is. And then it was like, I remember um, when I found out that other people spelled it differently. That freaked me out, too. I mean, I was like. I've never seen it spelled anyway, except the way you spell it. Oh, no. Some people spell it with E. A lot of people spell it with I. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. And it's like the only place I'd ever seen, um, you know, other people named Yvette was like Canada or France, you know. Oh. But apparently, um, I want to say maybe it's in um, like in Mexico. Whenever mm -hmm. they name their kids Yvette in Mexico, I think that's where they use the I. I think, oh, but okay, yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, Nancy said I've been cutting the fabric 
your fabric today, Steph, and it's beautiful. That's for the kit, the Pride Zoo Along. Yep, cool. I do like it. Yeah. We can talk about um, our sew along for Saturday if you want. Oh, okay, sure. Let me catch up on the chat a little bit and then I'll talk about that. And that is said, I have to agree, it would freak me out as well. <gasps> Doreen said, I don't run into a lot of Doreen. Actually, um, there was a Doreen at our retreat. So we met another Doreen. <laughs> so that's interesting. Oh, I thought that was the same Doreen. Nope, different one. Oh, okay. <laughs> My bad. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm sure she doesn't care that I was very friendly, but <laughs> I'm friendly oh, I'm to everybody, but I kind of thought they was the Doreen from the retreat. So I was like, you know, never mind. <laughs> Just move Unless on. Unless she has two different last names. <laughs> I, I don't know. Well, the thing is, I didn't really see like a whole bunch of the last name kind of stuff. From yeah. Here, so, yeah. Yeah. Elena said, I used to watch your videos on my big TV and my son would recognize you and say, that's Miss Yvette. He was two at the time. <laughs> oh my goodness. How so cute. cute. And kids like her apparently because my Henry like jumped in her lap and wouldn't stop jumping in her lap. <gasps> Listen, I love kids too. I just, you know, whenever I'm ready to go home, I go home. Because <laughs> I, I admit it's, I mean, it was wonderful. Oh my goodness. Your son is adorable. Um, but not being used to all of that I, you know, it was like, okay, I can go now. <laughs> yeah. He's got really, a lot really of like energy and I wish he would have just rubbed some of the energy off on me. That would have been good too. Right. <laughs> yes. He's, yes. I was telling a vet that he's never done that before. He doesn't usually just jump on people's laps. So it was like, he loved her. Yeah. Her face when he jumped on my lap, she was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. And I was he like, just kind of up her lap and sit there. it was so funny. <laughs> He's so cute too. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because it's almost like since the last time I was there, um, that he and Luke sort of like changed spaces in like yeah. their whole, like everything. Cause like the last time I was there, Luke's hair was really long. And yeah. now I know you don't want to cut his curl. So I get it. But now yeah. <laughs> it's like Henry's hair is really long and I was going, right. okay, okay. And like, cause I think the last time I was there, Henry like slept a lot. Like he was, he was a baby still. Yeah, exactly. So he was like sleeping a lot. And so this time when I was there, it was like, Henry was very active and Luke was less active. Yeah. So it was, it was a little change. I kind of took, took uh, mm -hmm. each other's space or there. They changed still, places. Yeah. Uh, Tracy Albert and both Crystal said they uh, knew Yvette's in Canada. Ah, uh, see? Yeah. The French. It's the French. That's why. That's what I'm thinking, you know? <laughs> Doreen said, glad you were nice. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> like, what's the, what's the alternative? <laughs> <laughs> Rochelle Sears is here. She said, hello, Stephanie and Yvette. Hey there. She said, how's the cat? What's for dinner, Yvette? Is it the cow candy? <laughs> you know what? No, it's not the cow candy. I don't have any cow tails. Um, and it would normally be ramen, but I ran out. I know. Oh. I pass out, but I ran out. I have Write no that one down in the books. Uh, it might. It might have to. I have no <laughs> idea what I'm going to have for dinner. I'm being completely honest here. Not a clue. And she is from Olympia, Washington. Oh. Girl, you should come to our retreat in Washington. You should come. I'm going to be sort of in your backyard. I'm not ex yeah. exactly sure where Olympia is. I'm going to be quite honest. But we're going to be just north of Seattle <laughs> in August if you're bored. <laughs> <laughs> so about Saturday, what Yvette was talking about, um, Oh, shucks. Sorry. <laughs> I just realized I made a mistake in my... <laughs> <laughs> She's not distracted by crochet at all. <laughs> I, was ta I was talking to you guys and not looking at what I was doing. So I, I know. That's okay. The nice thing about crochet is that you... 
Well, the nice thing about crochet is you can just pull it right back out. <laughs> That's true. You don't have to no pull out a, a jack or anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, so what I was saying is on Saturday, what Yvette was talking about is that on my channel, Saturdays with, uh, when we do Saturdays with Step, we're going to start earlier at three o'clock um, because we're going to attempt to finish a quilt top attempt. Hopefully we will. But if we don't, that's all well, right. I probably won't. Please don't put money on me. <laughs> and you can either make a quilt top or a pillowcase because they need both. Um, so that's an option if you don't want to do a whole quilt top, if you would like to help us out. If you don't, that's fine too. You can just come and sit and sew whatever you're working on at home. Yep. Uh, but Sean, the guy who sews, Yvette and I are all going to be working on a charity quilt for um, Snuggled in Hope, which is an organization here in my state of Ohio that supplies um, quilts to children that attend the Flying Horse Ranch camp that's sponsored by Paul Newman's um, organization, charitable organization. It's for kids who have various illnesses throughout the summer and each week is a different week. Um, and it, they, they do that because they need to bring in specialty nurses and doctors, depending on what kids that that week have, like one week is cardiac week, one week is cancer week, one week is autism week and so on and so forth. And each child that attends camp goes home with a quilt and a pillowcase that they get to keep. So when the kids come to camp, they put a quilt on each child's bed and a pillowcase for them with a pillow in it. And they get to take home that quilt in the pillowcase. Um, so it's just a really great organization. I've never heard of another organization of, um, that provide so many quilts because they have about 600 campers per summer. I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot. So um, they have a really, they have a lot of quilts. They keep um, quilts in on hand just in case they end up getting more quilters than they anticipate. So they like to um, take in as many as possible just in case that happens. Because I guess a couple of years ago, um, the camp said, oh, you know, the summer's a little bit longer because schools got pushed. And so they had another week of camp. So they had to all of a sudden scramble and get a bunch of quilts. So um, they want to make sure that every single camper, no child goes home without a quilt and a pillowcase. And so we're going to sew that, sew up uh, quilt tops this weekend. And this organization, if you're not a long arm quilter or don't like to quilt quilts, they will take just the top and they have quilters like me, because I do this for them, that they will take your top, pair up fabric that has been donated to them, a backing fabric, and send me backing your top and batting. And then I quilt it for them and send it back. And then they have people who bind. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing this weekend. And I'm real excited. Their biggest need right now is um, quilts. They'll take anything, of course, but... Their biggest need right now is boy leaning quilts because they do get, you know, it's it's easy to make girl quilts. There's so much cute girl fabric, right? Um, it's harder to find like boyish fabric. So um, they are asking for more boy quilts if, if you can. And um, the quilts need to be approximately 58 by 68, no smaller than 55 by 65 and no bigger than 65 by 75 because they want to try to get each camper about the same size or similar size quilt and they want to make sure they fit on the bunks that they stay in so those are kind of the parameters and all the information is in a link uh, to their website that's in the description box for my video for saturday which i've already posted on my youtube channel so if you guys go away from tonight and decide you want to help out and make one with us on Saturday, go ahead and check out my channel, find Saturday's scheduled video and look in the description box. And there's a link to their website that tells you their wish list and the sizes um, and everything that they're looking for. So yeah, Excellent. I'm really excited to help them out. I'm going to go find the simplest pattern I possibly can. Yeah. So that it won't take me, you know, like 400 weeks because, you know, I can't, I don't have time for that. But I can find yeah. an easy pattern. I will find an easy pattern. And yeah. hopefully I can finish on Saturday. 
that would be well cool. and i was gonna say like i got a three yard mystery bundle from so yeah for those of you who watch so yeah quite a while ago and it was camping fabric and i'm not a camper so it's kind of been sitting in my stash i didn't know what to do with it and then when this came up i'm like oh this is perfect right and there's yes. so many of those like three yard quilts out there that are really simple that you're supposed to be able to put together in a day yes. so i'm just gonna do one of those I'm going to look into those because I've heard about them and I've seen them and they're, they're actually nice looking quilts whenever they're done. Tracy, we're starting earlier because I usually start at five, but I don't think we'll be able to finish anything if we don't, if we come on at five, because we have to be, I go off at eight. Um, we could potentially sew later than that, but two things. Number one, so yeah, comes on at eight. And I know a lot of you said that you would stay and not go over to sew yet. So that's probably not as much of an issue, but I do have a family and I like to put my kiddos, like give them their bath and put them to bed and stuff like that. So for me too, like I don't wanna stay on later than eight o'clock. So we're gonna start earlier rather than go later than eight. So hopefully we have, we'll have a good five hours at the most to possibly get a whole quilt top done. Yep, and you guys can come in anytime you want and leave if yep. you do or you know, whatever. That'd be okay too. Yep. Uh, Nita said, what a perfect way to use those odd mystery fabrics. Exactly. Like, yeah. because honestly, they really don't care what they look like as long as they're about the right size. Um, they just want to be able to provide a quilt for each child. So that's the most important thing. But, you know, try to make it cute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm definitely. Sure kids would appreciate having a nice, cute little quilt. And, and speaking of that, they don't want any quilts with like glitter or embellishments just because of the kids. Some of them have sensory issues and so nothing like that. Just 100% cotton if you can. Um, all that's on their website, like I said. Uh, well, that makes is sense. There specific, is there a specific pattern for the camp quilts or anything goes? Anything goes. They'll take anything, anything. You can make it, you know, just a, you know, a patchwork quilt you can make blocks if you want whatever you want to do i'm probably going to do i was telling you that earlier i was probably going to probably going to do like a rail fence since i have the three yards so i can just cut a bunch of strips and sew them together and then yeah i think that's going to be fine with that oh tracy said oh i just thought you might be over and miss it i'll come over after the mom and pop oh no we won't be over <laughs> Because even though I, I do somewhat so fast, I can't do a whole quilt top in like two hours. <laughs> Maybe a jelly roll race. A I think jelly I finished roll race you could. Because you got that yeah. done in like, I don't know, fella, you had got it done in 20 minutes. I was like, what No, it wasn't 20 minutes, there, but like... I think it was about an hour maybe. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was doing a lot of instruction, I guess, in the beginning. But still, yeah. <laughs> it yeah. felt like you was pretty quick to me. <laughs> <laughs> and that jelly roll race that I did, I'm going to border that and send that to um, the Snuggled in Hope as well. So, so yeah, you can do something as simple as a jelly roll race as long as you, you know, border it to make it big enough. So, I feel so selfish that I want to keep mine. <laughs> Your jelly roll race? Keep it. It's beautiful. Yeah. Everybody was like, I'm giving it to the charity. I'm giving it to the charity. And I'm like, I'm keeping mine. <laughs> no, you're not the only one. Um, Karen Diard finished hers and hers is beautiful because she had that Adele in spring. Oh, yes. And she's, she's keeping hers. She bordered hers and she's keeping it. So. Okay, good. Yeah. I mean, good company. <laughs> <laughs> I have the on-the-go line and a line with airplanes. Both would work well for boys. That'd be perfect. Yes. Yeah, I wonder if I still have some of that. I don't think I do. I think I sold I it all. Know. I was digging through my stash to see what other boy lines I had, and I found this older one by Riley Blake, and I can't remember the name and the tags not on it, but it's like got, I think it's Riptide. I'm pretty sure. Ooh, I love Riptide. Yeah, it, but it's got like the sharks and the, yep. you know, it's yep. really cute. So. If I get time to do a second one, um, I'm going to do that. Well, I will do it eventually because, you know, they take them all throughout the year, not just right now. Yeah, so sure. I'll eventually make another one out of that fabric because I pulled it out and I was like, oh, this is perfect. Yeah, that's I like that fabric. Yeah, I think that's a, a very good boy slash girl. You know, it could be either way. Yeah. 
because Pamela the said, check out the free pattern from the Fat Quarter Shop Jelly Roll Sizzle. Okay, I'll check it out. Yeah, anything that's like quick and easy that you guys can think of that you don't have to spend a ton of time that you can just get the quilt done, feel free. My son has um, autism and someday, you know, I hope maybe there's a camp for him to go to. So um, I want to support them. Absolutely. I listen 2000%. Uh, let's see. Oh, Nita said she made two quilts out of Riptide. Awesome. Oh, uh, so yeah, it's on Friday night this week instead of Saturday. So if we go over eight, we're fine. Oh, cool. Although, like I said, I don't want to go too far over eight because, yeah, I want to. Yeah, me too. I think I, I'll probably be pretty tired of being on camera. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Believe it or Michelle not, said, that time does come. <laughs> yeah. Rochelle said, if you start at five Ohio time, what time is good for me since I'm in Washington state? I have a long arm quilter who will help me with cool tops to long arm charity quilt for free. Um, okay, well, so we're going to start at three this week. So, yeah, what so time I think is that's that? noon. I think that's noon. noon? I think noon so. Washington time. Yeah. I was thinking you guys were three hours behind. So, yeah. Yeah. Normally I am at five though, hon, which would be two o'clock for you. We're just pulling it back a little bit this week, just a couple hours, so we can attempt to get a quilt top done. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. Stephanie stitches, can you put the sizes in the chat so I can screenshot them for later reference? Yeah, if you give me a second, I'll do that. But it's like I said, it's also the link is on my website that has all that too, or not on my website, but in the description box of Saturday's video. Rochelle said, I'm a healthcare worker also and would love to quilt and use my stash since I've retired. Oh, congratulations on retiring. Yes. That sounds amazing, balls. I wish I could retire so then I could just do what I want when I work. <laughs> I don't think I could not work. I, I mean, I just don't. I don't like yeah. being idle. I tend to like turn into some kind of sloth when I'm not doing things. So, uh -oh. I don't think I want to be a sloth. <laughs> Let me grab this. Okay. So now I'm looking for section three, which is E3-3, and that's going to be a black piece. Let me, I don't need this anymore. Okay. Crystal said, oh, my son had cancer. I was very thankful for all the charities that helped us. I'm so yeah. sorry, sweetie. Me too. I know what you've been through. Yeah, that's. Unfortunately, my poor little guy that has autism also went through lymphoma. So. And you know, it's like, it's it's hard because you don't, you know. I know that there are a lot of people who think, oh, I don't want to just take stuff. You know, I don't want to just be the person taking stuff. But, you know, no. you, you you need to. And we need to be there for those people. Like, we, it's really important that people feel like they're supported because it's such a lonely place to be. I'm, I, you know, I've thankfully never had anything like that. But I, I just, I can't even imagine. Yeah. And how much easier it makes it for you if you do have people who are supporting you like people don't even have to and they just they want to and they do and i just i love whenever that happens yeah i really do Kay said did you already suggest the double slice pattern i did not i don't know about the double slice i pattern. don't i don't either that sounds <laughs> interesting well, i'm gonna have to google that one yeah Oh, Stephanie said her daughter has sickle, sickle cell disease. They have a camp she attends with all her doctors, nurses, and their support staff. That oh, sounds a lot incredible. like this camp. That's amazing. Yeah, that's great. Because then also, you know, the kids don't feel like they're alone. Yeah. You know, like they have, they're like, oh, okay. So I'm not well, some kind of freak of nature, you know, other right. people have this too. And Right. Plus yeah. it gives, honestly, the parents a little 
like a week of respite too. Yeah. Because it's hard um, being a parent of a child who has a chronic illness or like my son autism, it wears on you after a while and you kind of need a break. And it's not that you don't love your kids. You know, I used to oh, feel no. like if I, I used to feel like if I wanted a break that I didn't love him, but it's just, you get worn down. Yeah. And to know that he's going to, or these kids get to go to a camp where you know that all their medical needs are taken care of. There's responsible people. You don't have to worry, you know, it's just amazing. And it's completely paid for. Like right. they said the average cost per camper due to all the medical issues and doctor staff and nursing staff they have for one week is about $2,800 per camper. Wow. And they get that completely free. Like no family yep. that has one of these children has to pay one penny, not one penny. That's amazing. I'm getting goose pimples. Yeah. But you know, it's the and same that's with like St. Jude, you know, how yep. they that too, where they don't have to pay anything. Yep. And that's thanks that's, to all the, the donors and, yeah. you know, like a lot of the staff that come in, the doctors and nurses, they take a week of their own personal vacation to come in and take care of these kids. It's amazing. It is amazing. Lori said, I'm sad to miss your sewing on Saturday because I won't be back from Honolulu until Sunday night. Hope to see you on Monday, piecing it real. Of course, we'll see you then. Oh, yeah. And that's okay. You enjoy Honolulu, girl. Oh, my goodness gracious. I can't believe you in this room right now. <laughs> <laughs> if I was in Honolulu, I certainly wouldn't be watching me on YouTube. <laughs> Okay, Beverly Davis said she's got a sewing question. When you start sewing, you always get thread bundled on the fabric at the beginning. What can you do to stop that? Well, I take my thread and I pull it. And I, even if it's a, I do like about a six inch piece where I hold it out. And then when I make that first, and listen, I, I am not saying that this is the Bible <laughs> of how to do it. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying this is how I stop mine from doing it. Um, and then when I take that first stitch, I don't like, and I, I'm sure that Stephanie like punches her guys like nobody's mm -hmm. business because I've seen her so. <laughs> <laughs> but I take one small, I take my first stitch, just the one stitch. And I make yeah. sure that it is, it has taken and it's gone. And then I just continue and I'm fine. But that's what I do. There are some people who use leaders and what that is. I was going to just say that. Yeah. Yeah. So with yeah. a leader, you would take like a, a scrap piece of fabric and um, start sewing in that. And it's sort of like chain piecing, except you're, cha you're, you're using your leader fabric first and then you just sew right onto your piece. Now, if you're not, see for me, like where I'm starting here, like if I'm doing FPP, I can't always do that. It depends on, you know, like where my, where I'm sewing in my piece. So what I have found, and like I said, this is why I do it this way is because you can't always use a leader piece. At least I don't think so. I've never seen any other way to do it. Um, yeah. So that's what I do. I'll just pull like about, if you could see that I've got about six inches of thread that I pull out. And then um, sometimes depending on the fabric or even depending on you know what you're doing, like with paper, with paper piecing, you're probably not gonna have that much of a problem. Uh, but if you're just doing traditional piecing and you're only sewing on your fabric, then you might wanna even hold the thread as you're making that first stitch, just so that it stays taut a bit. I mean, don't, don't pull it, but you know what I mean? So it doesn't have that tendency to wanna get sucked up in your feed dogs. That's, and then once you get that first stitch, you're good. That's what I do. And isn't, um, I want to say, I think it's, isn't it Sherry who's making like a leader quilt or something? What is she doing with that? Yeah. Like she's, she's doing something that requires chain piecing. Yep. And then so, so she's actually making two quilts like at the same time. I don't know. She, I Listen, I don't know how it works, but I think if you look up, Oh, what did she call it though? Did she call it like a leader quilt? Or... I think so. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like go into Google and type in like leader quilt. Cause I think somebody's doing something with a leader quilt and I don't, I don't know anything about it. She's doing it, but, um, it's apparently a way that you can have like two quilts going at the same time and it helps to like, you know, make sure you don't have all the 
nested fabric uh, thread under there. Yeah. So I don't know. Somebody's doing something. Barbara Baker said, I pulled the two, the th two threads back and over to the right side. And then I use a piece of washi tape to hold it. The next time I just raise part of the tape and put the thread back and retape. Huh. That's a clever way. Okay. Listen, everybody's got a way. And if it works for you, keep doing it. Yep. Cause that's what I say to everybody. You might see me do something different or somebody else do something different. If what you're already doing is working fine, girly, just keep that up. Really, yeah. there are no rules, or there should not be any rules. Whatever works for you, that's the rule. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I agree. That's just crazy. Yep. Or unless, you, I mean, if you want to try the other way, that's fine. But don't feel like you have to do it that way, because you certainly yeah. don't. There are multiple ways to do things. Yep. Yep. Oh, Mary Jane's Mary Jane Ellinger said she made a scrap quilt with two inch squares and sewed together as leaders and enders. Ah, there you go. There you go. I'm not entirely convinced that Mary Jane's not an alien. I have to tell you, that girl has <laughs> a lot of sewing done. She, <laughs> she is like, she's she amazing. Is like a yeah. sewing fool, that girl. I know. She's <laughs> awesome. I just love when she comes on and she always has an idea that I never even think of. Like she'll have put something together and you're like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Why did amazing. I think of that? I know she does that all the time. I think she's an alien. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be her when I grow up. Right? <laughs> yeah. Laura said, I've always have a leader ender quilt going. Learned from Bonnie Hunter. Okay, that's. Yeah. There you go. There you go. That's what Sherry was telling us about. Yep. I'm going to have to go and look that up, though, because I know that when Sherry was talking about it, it's like, I I think I know what she's saying, but I need to see it. So I need to go and look yeah. it up because I'm one of those people. I'm visual. I have to see what you're talking about because sometimes it doesn't click until I see it. it's Wednesday already this week has gone really fast oh my goodness gracious are you, don't you know it yeah. I don't want Monday to come I know I'm a horrible person <laughs> no I know that doesn't make you a horrible person that makes you human <laughs> I know I, I don't know I just Oh, Laura Austin said Bonnie Hunter has a leader ender so long every year. Cool. Oh, maybe that's what Sherry's doing. Yeah. Yeah. She, I remember now when that person said Bonnie Hunter, that that's what Sherry was talking about. Okay, cool. Yeah. So we'll have to check it out. My machine doesn't really have those issues that my fast machine. Yeah. Um, but when I use the, the one that I brought for Doralyn, the smaller machine, it does have those issues. So that would be kind of a cool thing to learn because that machine is the one I'm going to be taking to retreat. So, yeah. Oh, Pamela said, good night, everyone. I'm exhausted off to bed. Good night, Pamela. Hi, Pamela. Love you, sweetie. I'm going to be Sweet. getting your package out. She won a package for posting a picture 
of one of her projects on piecing a reel. <laughs> I saw that. That's so awesome. So Netta was like, oh my God, she goes, everybody's going to think I rigged it. <laughs> you know, because I mean, we love Pamela. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, look, she was the she was the one who posted. It's not fair you to not it. give her the prize. Right. She right. did post it. <laughs> yep. Nope. She posted fair and square. She sure did. And when she when she started talking to me about it, I thought she was going to say that you had posted a picture or something. And I was like, yeah, we can't give nothing to Stephanie. That would look bad. <laughs> and I wouldn't take anything either. You know that. But it wasn't you. <laughs> I know. But even if it was, you know, I wouldn't have. I know. But and you know what? The funny thing is, is that like if I were talking about you, I personally would be like, look, she did it. She should get it, you know. But that's just yeah. how I think. But now if, the, if it was turned... And I had won. I remember there was even one time when I won something from Cotton Cuts. And I told Kim, I was like, Kim, I, I can't win. She goes, but you did win. Yeah, but Kim, I'm like on YouTube opening your box. I can't win. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, it just would not look good. And she, so we ended up working out. And I, you know, I was like, no, I, I'm not taking anything. And I didn't. But it was like, yeah. I, I get it. I, I understand how, what you're saying. And yeah. people, will, people will say stuff, you know, oh, that's her friend. That's why she gave it to her, you know, kind of thing. So I get it. Yeah. Lori I, Miller said good night. She's going to bed. Good night. Who's going to bed? Lori Miller. Sherlock. Night, Lori. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, I actually won, you know, Cotton Cuts is doing that like Friday fan thing or whatever. I'll be honest, they have girl, I have no clue what anybody's doing. Oh, okay. On their, on their Facebook that. group, they have like Friday fan day or something where they pick okay. like somebody who's a fan that's been commenting. And one Friday I won and I told her, I was like, you can't have me win. <laughs> like I, I felt like that, you know, but she's yeah. like, you, but you, you won fair and square. And I was like, okay. And I was like, can I, is, am I free to give it away then? Can I say like, this is from Cotton Cuts. I won the thing and I'm giving it as a giveaway. And she said, yeah. So she sent it to me and I gave it away. That's good. That's a good way to handle it. Yeah, because I felt weird winning. I don't know. It's just strange. But. No, I know what you mean. I I told her no as well because I was like, no, it's going to end up looking like some sort of favoritism thing. And the, the interesting thing about, like, with Cotton Cuts, when I was helping with the, um, the puzzle mystery quilt, they would give me one small kit for free. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, I would always buy like another two kits or whatever, because I'm like a crazy yeah. person. But anyway, um, but I mean, everything else that I've done for cotton cuts, I always have paid for that. And I don't think people get it. And that's what I told her. I said, people are not going to understand. They're going to think that I get everything from you for free, even yeah. though I don't, you know, but I said, and it's just going to look bad. I'm telling you. So I just wouldn't take it. Yeah. Of course, I didn't think about doing the giveaway. I could have done that. Mm -hmm. Oh, Janet Janet Johnson's here from Western Australia. Hi, Janet. She just came in. It's funny. I was talking to somebody today about uh, Australia, and um, mm -hmm. they were saying something. Because, you know, I'm always talking about Australia. There's, there's something yeah. wrong with me, I know. But, <laughs> so... He was like, uh, oh, I don't want to go because of all the, you know, the everything that's going to eat you over there. And I was like, oh. Dude, I said, I didn't see anything that anybody ever told me about before I went to Australia. Like, I never saw a huntsman spider. And then I told him, I was like, you know what? The huntsman spider, from what I uh, learned from the Australians, is that it's like, it's huge. It's scary looking. But it doesn't like it's not poisonous and it doesn't like purposefully go and start biting everybody you know yeah just really scary looking and it's like when stuff is scary looking that's when you're all like ah, you know <laughs> it's those drop bears they're gonna get you yeah you know what the only the only thing that <laughs> i saw when i was in australia that scared the bejesus out of me was um so, like, if you're renting apartments, I don't know if this is true for every place, but every place we lived, it was true. There were no screens on the windows. 
So oh. uh, in the summer, and there's like not really much air conditioning. Like we had this one place where like one of the rooms had an air conditioner in it that you had to like turn on, but it was nothing like central air or anything like that. Sort of how, like having a window unit. Uh -huh. um, and so you would leave the windows open like for to keep cool and everything, right? To have the breeze come in. And yeah. so it was one morning I was getting ready to go to work. I got up out of bed. I went into the bathroom. I got my contacts in, brushed my teeth, blah, 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 doing all the stuff. And then I go to get in the shower and there was a grasshopper in there oh. that was literally larger than my hand. I kid oh, you not, okay? Scared the bejesus out of me. I ran straight out of there and I was like, uh, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> you need to take a trip to the bathroom and get rid of that thing. I said, you know, don't kill it. Just take it outside or whatever. <laughs> I just, I yeah. it. I'm like, but I, just, I said, it's, it's rather large. And I don't think he wanted to go in there either, but yeah. 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 <laughs> the only, <laughs> the only downside is having the windows open, right? <laughs> yeah. And I mean, you don't even think about it until, I mean, there was that one time that it happened. And it never yeah. happened again. And I, other than that, I'll be honest with you, it was wonderful having the windows open because I had these rainbow lorikeets that I would feed every day. Aww. And um, like you go into the kitchen and they were already like in the kitchen, like on the windowsill waiting for you to like make <laughs> your breakfast. Oh my goodness, yeah. I miss it so much. That's, that's neat. Yeah, because they would just be in there, like in your kitchen, like just waiting for you to yeah. waiting for you to come and feed them. Oh, Joy came in. Hey, Joy. Hi, Joy. <laughs> Got about a five minute warning of it. Oh, thank you. Yep. Uh, Janet said most people have air conditioning these days, and nearly everyone has fly screens. We need them as flies can be bad here. Ah, uh, where, where are you at, Janet? Because I'm wondering if it's different in different parts of Australia. I'm not really sure. I mean, I don't know because I only lived in Sydney. And I know that um, like in toward the end, whenever we were wondering, are we going to stay or are we going to go? We had gone to look at like um, some places that were for sale, mm -hmm. like either houses or, you know, whatever. And they had air conditioning. So I know that like, you know, if you, for the most part, if you bought a house or something like that, then you would have air conditioning. So it might yeah. have just been because we were renting. Oh. I really don't know. You know, I, we were only there for three years and I'm sure I don't know a hundred percent about what's going on over there. But um, I know that every place we looked, they didn't have air conditioning. So hmm. Maybe it was just where we were looking or could be. Uh, Melissa said, I made my tech support go hunting with his shoe last night. Palmetto bug in my bathroom. Oh, she yeah. Said, I didn't want to relocate it. I wanted it dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Janet said, southwest of Western Australia. Okay. Area. Okay. I don't know. Do you know if it's different? I'm, I'm not sitting here having a conversation with her. Like we're just like, you know, looking at each other. Yeah. You don't have to answer all my questions. It's okay. <laughs> Bunbury. She said she's from Bunbury. Bun Bunbury? B-U-N-B-U-R-Y. Okay. Oh my goodness. Lanigan's here said, got up one night to go to the bathroom, didn't turn light on, went to grab some toilet paper and there was a tree frog on top of the roll. <laughs> Oh, that's a surprise. <laughs> that would be an interesting surprise. As long as it wasn't a snake, I would have been fine. I don't do snakes. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. That's my daughter, Sarah, you guys know Sarah. She loves snakes. And um, we were taking a walk a couple, couple summers ago, and there was, like, a little garter snake going across the sidewalk. Here I am, like a big baby, like, running and screaming from it and her and her dad were picking it up i'm like stop it <laughs> <laughs> i don't think garden snake. snakes do anything to you though they don't but i'm just i'm not a snake like no no I snakes nope. i got you nope. yep like me it's like i don't have any problem whatsoever with 
like spiders until they get until they look a certain way and then i'm like oh no i'm sorry but i'm done now yeah. because like well if i see a little baby spider like in the house or whatever um the cats will usually be trying to like bat it around or and, and everything they don't like do anything to him either and i just let them stay because i figured you know the little baby spiders they're gonna if we have the the door open too long or something like that you get a fly in they'll take care of all that you know as long as it's or like daddy long legs i'll keep them those are fine but if it was like some big ugly spider i know that sounds horrible that is like so prejudi prejudicial against the ugly spiders but yeah i can't <laughs> yeah colleen said here you can't kill snakes or let or like mountain lions unless you feel threatened i always feel threatened what kind of law is that <laughs> Who determines whether I'm threatened or not? Me right. or someone else? <laughs> yeah, I'm not alone. Netta said she can't do snakes either. Thank you. Oh, Karen Cox said all snakes are out to get you. I agree. <laughs> I feel that way about cockroaches. They got to go. Oh, see, I don't like them because I think they're creepy, but I'm not like afraid of them. Like I am a snake. Oh, no, I don't know why. Terrified. I don't, there, something mm. about them. I don't know what it is. I think. Like when I was growing up, I had some friends, um, and I am not saying they're dirty people because they were my friends, but anything <laughs> you used in their house, you had to clean before you used it. Like you couldn't just pull uh, a, a cup out of the cabinet and like pour yourself a glass of water. You couldn't because they had roaches everywhere. And I think that might have been my, the problem is that I was just it, like anything you could pull out of cabinets, you could find, and it was, I, I don't think that it was because listen, these people and I am not kidding. These people were cleaning their house constantly. They were always cleaning. So I don't think it was because I think it might have been because of where we lived. Because yeah. in my house, we lived in the back of the subdivision. And back where we were, were all of the rice fields. And so every time that they would flood the rice fields, which is how they would cultivate it and everything, yeah. all of the mice would come out and they would be in our house. Ugh. See, I'm no. fine with mice I, I, because I had to take care of them all the time because my mom was terrified. So oh, I'm cool beans, right? But, but the, see, that's the thing. So I think that where we were, we got all the mice. And yeah. because of where they were, unfortunately, they got like the roaches and it was just I, and like i said i know it wasn't because their house was dirty because they cleaned all the time i mean like right. all the time and i think they were doing it probably because the roaches were there but i mean it's it just wasn't that wasn't the case so i think it's just where we live but eh, what are you gonna do yeah so i think that's why i feel that way though <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't fun anyway whether you thought oh this is just happens it doesn't matter it was <laughs> it was scary because uh, yeah yeah anyway. rochelle had a funny comment she said yvette i always thought the cartoon of the tasmanian devil looked like that from australia until one of my friends brought me a picture of what the tasmanian devil really looks like <laughs> <laughs> jelly bean what are you doing baby what are you, why what are you doing what, what are you doing colleen said a five foot black snake in the house two foot from my toddler's head I know they aren't poisonous. I don't care. In my house, well, just two feet from my baby's head, it's dead. Exactly. No, I'm with you on that one. I'm with you on that one. Ma the the mama jean comes out. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> MJ said I had to relocate a house spider the size of a Buick from my kitchen cupboards the other day. Fortunately, <laughs> we have a mutual <laughs> non-aggression pack. <laughs> <laughs> Buick. <laughs> Oh my goodness, y'all are crazy. I love it. <laughs> oh. All right, we're we're straight up 10 o'clock. Well, it depends on where you look. My my uh my sewing machine says it's 10 o'clock. My computer says it's 1002 and my phone says it's 1002. So I guess it's 1002. We'll go with that. <laughs> um Thank you ladies and gentlemen for a wonderful night uh every time you guys make it memorable i am so happy um just that y'all are here all the time <laughs> i love it um so let's see colleen says melissa are you doing a live next 
<laughs> okay, so someone else may be going live next, and you can oh. head over there. And um, I will see you guys next week. Um, Stephanie, thank you for coming and moderating. You did a great oh, job, honey bun. You did a great job. It was fun. <laughs> There's a lot of laughs tonight. <laughs> I know. That was a lot of fun. Um, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, look, this is how far I got, but I am doing like all six or seven at the same time. So, um, I will continue with that next week. And someday I'll have a, a quilt top to show y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and then okay. Tiffany can finally quilt it for me if she still yeah. wants to. We'll have to see. Yeah. By the time I get it done, she could have, you know, arthritis setting in. I have no idea because <laughs> I'm just, I'm really trucking along on this thing. I'm telling you. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So next week, you guys, Wednesday, 830. See you then. Bye. Yeah. See you Saturday. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yes. Please come on Saturday, three o'clock. <laughs> Stephanie's. Well, Saturdays with Steph. There we go. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye.